Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a AgriFab box blade. And I put the tape measure to it and it's 43 inches. So right there, it fits on a sleeve hitch. I'll get a close-up view of it, but I got two of them. One I'm going to sell. I guess I'll keep that one. They really look the same to me. Um, but let me show you. AgriFab, this is the other one. AgriFab, they're basically identical. Um, measures 43 inches across and you can if you want to um now come on out this will pull out come on baby there it is and it will tilt blade of tilt see so you can angle it you can even turn it around backwards and um make a bulldozer out of it but i'm gonna put it in here i just got a bolt sticking through it ideally i guess you get a pin hang on okay so it's got these ripper teeth and they're pointing upwards because i'm not using them now if you wanted to break the ground up you know it just slides in and out right here and uh flip it over and put it back in there and it would uh engage the ground rip up dirt maybe or something see it's just got little pins in there i might show that in the mulch but i'm gonna do i don't have a gravel driveway so if you have a gravel driveway the best way i can show that it would work on a gravel driveway i don't have one but i got this gravel right here so i moved a few things out so i can make a couple of runs up and down we're gonna see what it looks like you know really i don't need anything it's still gonna do it and then i'll turn those grippers around and i'll hit the mulch wood chips i got a path going all the way around the backyard and uh you know we'll just turn those over a little bit and smooth it out and see what happens and I did mulch with the grippers. Well, they're not called grippers. I don't know if they are. Cutters? I don't know, but I'm gonna flop them over. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I just pulled the pins out. There's a pin on each side. Pin right there. It goes in here and there. So what you'll do, pull it out. And this is it right here. So just reinsert it upside down. Reinsert the pin.
So I think it works good. Um, can you see the gravel? Let's see. I mean, you can't, I know you can't tell in the video, but it's freshened up. It really worked good in the gravel. Um, the wood chips were so thick, it was building up on the deck. Hang on. So this has nothing to do with the box blade, but you just, uh, if you're gonna do a lot of box blade, you need to take your deck off. And because that'll happen, when I drop the box blade, the deck goes down too, and it was acting as a box blade, so I need to get that off there. But anyway, I thought it worked good. Um, like, you know, like I say, I know you can't tell on that, but it did a good job on the gravel and this wood chips. It did a good job on the wood chips. Um, you know, because I had little weeds coming up in it and stuff, and really it kind of tore them out, um, smoothed it out. So, for no more than what it cost, and I think it, I think you can get that at Northern Tools for under three hundred dollars. I'll try to look on the website and see what it costs to post that on here too. But Agrafab box blade. Um, see now you can also, if you wanted to, you can take these sides off, side off, that side off. You see they're bolted on right there. Take those sides off and just have a angled blade so you can do it either way you can have an angle blade or you can do a box blade you can take those rippers out and just have a blade so it's so it actually serves two purposes i mean i got two of them i'm gonna sell one because i don't need two with this only gravel i got now i got other scraper blades too for sear suburban and stuff like that i got a lot of attachments and i got a lot of scraper blades but i'm gonna keep this because it's sleeve hitch and i got that sleeve hitch well, so, you know, of course I got it with that mower. When I bought that garden tractor a couple of videos back, it came with it. And it actually came with a plow, but that's another story. Anyway, I think that's it. All right, thanks.